Hey guys, what's up? It's Shark Talking. Welcome back to my channel. So today video is about a new game that just got released. It's Final Fantasy Brave Axios War of the Visions. This new game is a strategy game uh, just similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, developed by Square Enix and Gumi. Gumi is known by Brave Frontier and also the original Final Fantasy Brave Axios that's still uh, very popular to this day. This game is a tactical strategy very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, like I said, and it's still for mobile and it still uses the gacha mechanics. I know a lot of you already know the basics of the game, so this video is about re-rolling and what the characters that you should be aiming for. Uh, well, first, uh, sorry if my English is not perfect, I'm not exactly a fluent speaker, so I'll try my best here to guide you through the game. I already downloaded all the data of this game and I will tell you something here, well, it's not possible to re-roll just like they can in Japan right now because the game um, removed the option to log out of an account inside the game so you have only the option to clear your data to start a new account unless you have a hooted phone or uh, you're playing on an emulator that also has access to root I will try to show you the two manners of you to uh, be able to reroll on your account okay let's just start talking about the general way you're just starting your new account, be it on mobile phone, be it on a emulator, and we'll be talking about how you should just spend your first sum. Well, you have to click on your game and agree here because you're an, also a, a person of 16 years or, or older. You don't have to choose any or this, it can be any one of them, personalized or no personalized. This game sadly has uh, ads for some free summons, but not for characters, just for uh, money. Or the gold for the game. Now you have to is the option to sign on your Google account or on your Facebook account. Just don't do it. Just click on guest, and this is the first important step on going through uh, the best Google account that you can do. So the first uh, thing here is just to enter your name. Call it. Let's use anyone. You can also use the same name as other people, so you're not uh, tied up on a single chance of using your real name. So they are just saying that you should be using this simple graphics setup. Click on yes because you're doing rerolls. You don't you don't care about the graphics yet. So the game will ask you for downloading. Uh, I'm already downloaded all the data on the game, so it will skip through here. But if you're too, losing too much time, unfortunately, if you're on mobile phone, you will have to keep re-downloading the data every new time you want to do a reroll. Unfortunately, this is the only option, okay? So uh, now that the game is trying to launch it, we will start a tutorial process full of things. You can always click on the right side of the, the screen and click on skip and save you some time. But you won't be able to skip tutorial phases, so you will have to play a little here. Let's just click on skip again. Well, this is the first stage of the game. And we can simply try to reduce the amount of time needed. Just click on screen to skip through all the history. Your company on here will attack the enemy, and then you have to go uh, behind the enemy's back and attack it as well. Burn. Now just keep pressing on the, the screen so you can skip all the talk. Click on confirm again. The game will teach you how to summon your characters on screen and also use skills. So just keep pressing on screen. He's just summoning a character. Okay. Now you have to use ability. You use the blizzard skill. Click on unit. Confirm. And this will end the first stage. Oh, no, yeah. You still have to use one of your skills with your main character. Ability. First one. Confirm. Okay. You can skip the animation. This is just like the ultimate skill of the character. Okay, the game is not so fast, but it's not so, also not so slow, so I thought that it was very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics as well. So you keep just keep uh, clicking to skip all the things that will appear on your right side of the screen. Well done, okay, skip. You can rewatch the story later. Until you decide the best counter you should be using, you still just can skip through the story. Okay, we have more story. Let's just click on the right side. Skip. Okay. Okay. 
Now is the second battle, this one, and it kind of explains height and how it works when you're trying to use magic on enemies they are far from your reach. And keep clicking on the, the screen, and then you have to go through this green circle, use your magic, click on confirm. The other character will move automatically, you don't have to use movement with him. More tutorials on screen, you can check this one later. Okay, you're not defeated the first enemy, but more will appear. And now the game is just trying to tell you uh, that you have a lot of options to defeat your enemies. You also be able to use Sumo, a very familiar thing on the Final Fantasy series. And here your ally will try to defeat this huge beast with uh, just a single use of his word. Not doing so well, well. Now the enemy just pushed your character, just like trying to show you that you can just um, use your terrain and your advantage as well. And now you have to go to the circle, they will to appear the Ifrit screen, now fired, confirm, unit, and it will just finish your enemy. You can also skip the animation from Ifrit if you want to get some more time. But there is a CGI uh, animation, very nice animation, just like Final Fantasy III Vaxxus. So okay, we now click on next, 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 close, and we finish with the second uh, battle. This is okay, now we'll be finished with this and we'll be doing our first tutorial summon on the game. And for those that do not know, you can get the higher uh, parity on the first tutorial summon. I just skip it through the story and, well, let's just skip it again. Nice. Uh, you'll be granted to the home screen. Yeah, we are now finally on the home screen of the game, and the game will still tell you some stuff about how it works, what each of the options do, and first of all, summon function, because it's the most important thing on a gacha game. In performing a summon, you use Viziore. Viziore is the name of the gen on this game, it's the same thing. When you click on sumo, you will be granted to the screen, and guys, this screen can be very confusing. Some people were saying that you cannot get ultra hard characters from here, but it's not true. You can get ultra hard characters. I also got two ultra hard characters on this summon, so this means that you can get um, more than one. It's not a limited banner at all, but on this summon, we didn't get any ultra hard. So, this is a pretty bad summon. We only get SR. R and NR. R is the lowest rarity, and we have SR, that's super hard, and then we have NR, it seems mega hard, and lastly we have ultra hard that we didn't get on the sumo. So click on OK. This is a bad start. So let's just click on back. If you get uh, two ultra hards on that tutorial pool, you could just simply be done and just uh, stop summoning. You don't. You won't even need to keep summoning if you don't want to, because in the in the future we'll be getting more characters and more diversity. So you don't have to just focus on getting the starting characters of the game. But right now you can summon because the game will uh, uh, kind of force you to keep progressing on the story. There's uh, one more stage that you have to do, and you can only use one of your character and one from a random ally. You can also click on auto and start your quest. This battle will be on auto, you can simply go away for a water drink or something. This is also the game trying to tell you that most of the fights will be ran on auto. And this is also uh, why some characters are better to start than others, because they are better to be using on auto than the other ones. Unfortunately, most of the game will be run on auto unless you have quite a lot of time, because it's a very grinding game, just like most mobile gacha games are on these days, and you don't have the time to keep playing this whole day. I think you don't have it. Maybe you have. <laughs> so I just skipping through all of the animations and story. This is the very first original part of the story. We have more ways to skip. 
And this is where um, the first real battle starts. But we still don't have the option to use our four, five characters, so okay. Let's just run this on auto. You can simply watch the battle ends. You see that this character used a buff and then he moved it. Stone Troll barely does any damage, it's just so you can get some things. Next turn we will just finish this battle. Okay, we have the quest clear and this was the last tutorial stage that kind of forces you to go. Now we will have full control of our home screen. You can click on X, but they will still try to teach you some stuff. You can simply keep clicking on the screen until you see everything they have to tell you. Okay, you can uh, skip through it, go through the right side of the screen, click on skip. Okay, back to the home screen. And now we will have to check a lot of stuff, use some experience, level up the job, and the ability of your character because the game wants you to do so. They are also telling you what each one of these icons on the home screen are made for. You click on all units and, well, this is the tutorial part, you have to click on your character. Yeah, give him some experience. On a chance, you're obligated to do so. Click this simple one on plus. Confirm. You got some levels with your character. Now the game wants you to job in chance, just click on the below right side of the window and chance. Okay, we got a job level up. Got some nice extra status. Now the game wants us to increase the level of one of our abilities. There's some quite number of abilities for each character, so there's quite a lot of grinding on this game. Okay, we just leveled up this. And we only use it gold for here, at least for now. Some job points. Uh, now we click on back, back. Back again. Another back. Yeah, we're now on the home screen again. They will tell some stuff about how the experience works. And when it's done, yeah, now we are finally on the start of the game. Because we are finally getting our loading bonuses. And just be careful here, you have to get everything. But you don't really need to get one of them. Because one is still very good to save for later. So we are getting some shards, some gems. Or is your native... I don't even remember the name they call the gems here. But let's just call it gems. You also have the option to do a video sumo, don't do it. Don't support this type of stuff, please. And then you have the full control of our home screen. You can simply click on sumo now. I just told you guys, if you are happy with your tutorial pool, you don't have to keep sumoing. But I will talk about the characters that you can sumo and the banner that you should be doing on your reroll accounts. The first banner is the head start step up banner. This is the banner that you should be sumoing for because you have some uh, reduced costs for some summonings they use well. Uh, summoning cost is 2,000 lapis and uh, the head start has three prices different because it will give you an ultra hard summon on step 3. The first and the second one have reduced cost. First one costs 1,000, the second one 1.5,000. And so, well, let's just do the first one if uh, to see what the results are. But we also should be talking about the characters that we need to get, the best characters that are recommended for you to get. When you click here and you drop hates, you see the rates for this game, we have only 2% chances for ultra hard characters, 8% uh, chances for mega hard characters, 31% for super hard characters, and 8% for hard characters. We also have vision cards that works like uh, special equipment and can also be summon things. So we're not focusing on the vision cards right now, we only focus on units. Ultra hard is better than mega hard, it's better than sec super hard, and it's better than hard. And the only characters that are from the ultra hard uh, 
Heritage right now are this selection here that I'm showing you guys. And the best characters for you to summon are Mediana, Ayaka, and Angelbert. They are the, the three most important ones. We also have Shiza that is quite good as well. And we have Gilgamesh. Gilza is not so good as the three other ones. The Gilgamesh is very strong, but he's probably a character that will only be able to be good for, for players that uh, are thinking about spending a lot of money on the game. Because he has... Half the chances to appear than compared to the characters. It seems like he's another heritage at all. Uh, and also, be because of this, he, uh, he takes 12, uh, double the shards for increasing his limit breaks compared to the ultra, ultra hair characters. I don't understand why it's this like that, but I think he's a special character in this game. It's very strong, but also very demanding, very closely to infest. So you should be aiming for Mediana because she's one of the best characters that can be used on auto for the game. You also have Ayaka because she's a healer that works very well. And also you have Angelbert that is a tank that is very strong. We also have Caesar, but she's not as strong as the other three. Not important as the other three because we are still on the start of the game. Another characters will come very soon and they will be better than someone over most of those selection. Okay, uh, these are the best characters. Now you can simply do this step up summon. Why we're doing it? Because, well, um, like I said, we didn't get anything good on the tutorial form. So I will just get back here. We have to get our presents, our pre registration rewards, and all the things. We can simply click on claim all. Clicking on claim all will give you everything. We also are getting Ishtola, is a character from Final Fantasy XIV, the online game. Also, we are getting Excalibur, a uh, weapon. Uh, card for Sidon. This is a sumo, and we can click on OK. Pressing uh, here, we will be granted uh, to the screen, and you see that we have 3.5 thousand gems, enough to do two summons. And what happens is just that we can do our two summons and then re hold or we can do these two summons and then try to get to the last stage of the first chapter in the story to get enough for our third pool, because we had to have 4,500 to be to, to the three stats, but we don't have all that much, so let's just do the first two, and we decide if we should reroll or not. I also think that it's good enough for you to do only the two ones, because it guarantees that if you are getting a, a good account up to the second step, it means that if you just push a little further with this account, you'll be getting the another Ultra Har. Oh, we got an Ultra Har, but it's not a character, it's a card, so let's check it out, it's um, Kaelum. It's just a card, it's not a character. We also got uh, a lot of MR, but no many other things. It's not a good thing to have this. Well, let's just do our second one. This is account is being very, very trash, so... This is not a good account at all. I already made my account and I have two ultra hard characters from Tutorial Pool. I won't be pulling anymore, at least for now. It's a different thing that you can see here. Uh, this icon I'm clicking on the top, it's a... Uh, icon for a card, and this other icon that it's a lapis, it's an icon for a character. You can kind of predict what you'll be getting. Okay, so uh, we just finished it with the part where we summon. Now we should be talking about how you reroll, how exactly you reroll. And it's very easy actually, but it, like I said, you can uh, do that without read all the data on the game. You have to go through here, new. Let's say you want this account before we talk about reroll. You have to go through accounts and then sign up with either Google or Facebook. But you didn't like this account, you want to reroll. Okay, you can simply go to your home screen here on your emulator or you, on your mobile phone and click on configurations. You can simply choose your application. Sorry, doesn't have another way. You have to go here. Uh, delete the data. Let me search for a name from here. You can click on uh, store and you can clear your data and it will start again. This unfortunately is the only option for people without root. But we'll be talking about the root option that is very, very simple. You simply click on, uh, you don't really need this one that I'm using, it's called a maze. You will need uh, a file manager, this is the one I'm using. And then you have to go through data, data, uh, this.com, Square Enix, Android game, Google Play, Final Fantasy Brave Axios folder, and then you let's just go here. I'll show you the whole way. So, root, you have to use a root uh, permission uh, file manager. This amazed file manager has access to root, so it works for me. Data, 
let's search for that again yeah and then you have to scroll to the end it's very close to the end here and then we would just have to go through files and then there's this option zerk child called pin info and you simple hold in on this icon and there's this trash icon here i'll just click on that. delete okay now we'll just have to close all of the visions and then we'll click on home and click on it again okay so by doing that you should be able to start all over and keep doing the your reroll you can also do that uh, a lot of ways in your day the game you can simply keep rerolling rerolling till you get your best results unfortunately it takes some time the tutorial is very long but well it's the pace you try to try to get the best thing for free <laughs> unless you can simply purchase things with your dollars and get it without this painful process that it's called rerolling so you see start game it means that our best account is over with a simple uh, action of deleting a single file okay so we're just done when you're with this video i don't want to prolong any further thank you for watching if you want to keep uh, following uh, final fantasy brave of the axios videos please just sign up on my youtube channel and we will see each other on the next video bye